right, Mr. Lobster. Let's take a look at that antenna. It's all right. This won't hurt. All done. Oh, thanks, Doc. Bye. Cheerio. Ah, my last patient of the day. Peso, come in, Peso. Captain, is something wrong? There's no time to explain. Head down to the launch bay now. <gasps> What's going on, Tweak? I don't know, but the captain sounds real worried. Here he comes. Peso, I've got a lot of hurt patients back here. Hurry. <gasps> There's more of them in here. Peso, we found them covered in rubbish. They need your help. Tweak, clear out your workshop. We'll need that space for an emergency room. You got it, Peso. Work, Peso. Your quick action has saved these pelicans' lives. Aye, but what happened to them? I've never seen a bunch of birds so bent out of shape. Ah, twas awful out there. The lads never knew what hit them. What was it, matey? Were you attacked by some kind of rubbish monster? Not now, Quasi. These pelicans need to rest. No, it's all right. Tis a tale that needs to be told. Oh, Charlie's the name, and this here's me fishing crew. We'd flown out to sea for our first fishing trip of the morning. And we'd just spotted a big school of little fishes for our breakfast. All right, lads, I told them. Prepare to plunge! That's how we pelicans go fishing, see? We dive in fast, then scoop the fish up in our pouches. But this time, we were tricked. Wasn't a school of fishes at all, but a big bunch of grimy sea junk. Luckily, Dashie and I happened to spot them as we were passing by in the guffs. I don't know what we would have done without your help. <laughs> but why was there so much junk in the water? When plastic gets thrown into the ocean, it sometimes drifts together in big, floating patches of rubbish. The plastic can be very dangerous to sea creatures who might eat it by mistake. Aye, and the rubbish patch that fooled us is still out there somewhere. Then we'd better clean it up. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Already in the launch bay? Oh, uh, right. Octonauts, our mission is to clean up the rubbish patch that hurt these pelicans. Dashie, can you track it on the map? Already on it, Captain. That must be it. It's drifting over the octopod right now. Peso, you stay here and look after the pelicans. Everybody else, let's head to the surface. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers! Look at all that rubbish! With these nets, we'll have it cleaned up in no time. But, Captain, what do we do with the rubbish once we scoop it up? Don't worry about that, Dashie. We'll put the rubbish into this octobin. And then take it back to the octopod to recycle. Mm. Octonauts, let's do this. Octonauts, we're making good progress. I'd better see how things are going back at the octopod. Say ah, uh, ah. Uh, looks good. 
Peso, come in, Peso. How are your patients? Well, Captain, I'd say the pelicans are healing nicely. Excellent. Ooh. Peso, what's that noise? Hmm, looks like there's another patch of something heading your way. Hmm, more rubbish, maybe. Whatever it is, it's moving fast. Yeah. <laughs> Something's tickling me toes. <laughs> it's not more rubbish. Huh? It's a huge school of fish. Uh-oh. Whenever there's a school of fish this big, there's bound to be a, yeah. a feeding frenzy. <laughs> Attention, swordfish. There's rubbish in the water. It's not safe to eat here. <gasps> <laughs> In that case, we'd better hurry. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, we're surrounded. Captain, come in, Captain. What's going on there? We're caught in the middle of a whoa! Feeding frenzy! It's making the cleanup a little tricky, and we Captain! Captain! Oh no! I have to help them! Listen, Doc, we pelicans know a thing or two about feeding frenzies. The trick is to get in and out as fast as you can. But how? <laughs> what say ye, mateys? Ready to stretch your wings? Right. Ready. <laughs> They're coming from every direction. There's got to be a whoa, way out of here. Captain, jump on! Great timing, Peso. Octonauts, let's move out. <laughs> Don't look down. Don't look down. Thanks for the lift, Pelicans. Good to see you're feeling better. Now, why do you say we clean up the rest of this sea rubbish before someone gets hurt? Remember, mateys, in and out fast. Get ready, Octonauts. When the pelicans dive in, try to scoop up as much rubbish as you can. Prepare to plunge! of it, Captain. Ha! Huh. Good work, everyone. Hold on. Where's Peso? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'm a medic. I help any creature who's hurt or sick. Oh, thank you. We're good to go. Au revoir. That's funny. The swordfish are leaving. The feeding frenzy must be over. Flippity flippers! There he is! Are you all right in there, Peso? I'm fine, Captain. That was a close one. Thanks, old Charlie. No worry, Peso. Good work, everyone. Pelicans, we couldn't have done it without you. Aye, after everything you did for us, it was the least we could do. All right, mateys, who's up for a little fishing? Hooray! Goodbye! 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 Goodbye. 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 Prepare to plunge! <laughs> Oh, 
water floats should be pretty easy to spot. There's not much out here in the open ocean. There they are. These octo floats have been measuring water temperatures for weeks. They should tell us a lot about the weather out here. Even though they're underwater? Of course. The temperature under the ocean tells us a lot about the weather up on the surface. Uh-oh. The weather forecast doesn't look too good. Jumping jellyfish. It says here there's a strong chance of water spouts up at the surface. Captain, according to the octo floats, water spouts could start forming at the surface any minute. Water spouts? Like a water spout. Well, Tulip, a water spout is a tornado that forms over water. They appear most commonly out here in the open ocean. A tornado? Yeah. Don't worry, me hearty. It's only a bit of twisty old wind. Shellington, Dashy, gather up all the octo floats and get out of there as fast as you can. Already on it, Captain. We'll round them up and... Whoa! Whoa! Hurry, before they sink! <laughs> <laughs> Good catch! Now for the floats! Oh no! The wind must have blown them away! Dashy, Shellington, is everything all right? Five floats are lost on the surface. And water spouts are starting to form in the area. We're on our way! Quasi, peso, to the guts! <laughs> to find all the octo floats, we'll have to split up. Aye, and it looks like we have some company. Then there's not a moment to lose. Ah. Got it! Shillington, hurry! to go. Captain, I found the last float. Try to get it quickly, Quasi. Yeah. Hey, watch it, matey. Oi, who are you calling matey? The name's Trixie. I'm a triggerfish. And I'm Quasi. Pleased to meet you, Trixie. Well, that's our float, and we need it back. Oh, no, you don't. I make my home under whatever I find floating on the surface of the ocean. But I can't just leave this float out here. You don't want it littering up the ocean, do you? Oh, I've made a home out of all kinds of rubbish before now. Whatever keeps me safe from the birds up above and the big fish below. And when I find a home this good, I don't give it up easily. <coughs> There's no time to argue, Trixie. You better dive down deeper where it's safe. I'm staying right here. No water spout's gonna scare me out of my home. All right, you don't have to leave your home, but I've got to move it to safety. <laughs> Follow me, Trixie. <laughs> He's in there with a pig. Yeah, gotcha! 
close. Quasi, come in, Quasi. Ah, we've lost radio contact. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonaut, to your stations. <laughs> Octonaut, Quasi has been carried away by a water spout. He's somewhere out there in the open ocean. Water spouts are going away, Cap. But there's no sign of Quasi anywhere. Then we'd better spread out and find him. Octonaut, let's do this. Captain Barnacles, come in. Oh, it's no good. What about you, Trixie? Are you okay? I'm fine, but... That bird out there looks pretty hungry. Nice of you to drop by, little fishy. Trixie, get under the cat. Oh, I wish I was back in my home. Any sign of Quasi? Not yet, Captain. Wait, I think I see something. Oh, no, just the last octafloat. Better load it up anyway. Don't worry, Trixie. You should be safe down there. Maybe not for long. Saltfish! Mm, a trigger fish snack. Ow! Whoa! Oh, there you are. Try us out again. Uh oh. I'll save you, Trixie. Oh. Oh. Where'd you go? Oh. Still no sign of Quasi, Captain. He could be anywhere. We've got to be close. Captain, I'm picking up some strange noises. It's the same grunting noise we heard when we tried to contact Quasi before. It could be a clue. Lead the way, Shellington. Octonaut, follow those grunts. Stay close, Trixie. Coming out of there, is she? Phew. Thanks, Captain. Who's your new friend, Quasi? This here is Trixie the Triggerfish. A grunting triggerfish, of course. And this octafloat is her home. It protects me from the birds up above and the big fish down below. Well, Trixie, it looks like you need that octafloat more than we do. I have an idea, Captain. <laughs> If we leave this octofloat out here, it can be your job to guard it. Okay, Trixie? I don't think that'll be a problem. You got that right. We triggerfish always protect our homes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. Force of habit. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Come on out. Dashy, oh. come in, Dashy. How's the photo assignment going? Well, I've taken some good shots. But if I want one of my photos on the cover of National Geographic, I need a really great shot. <gasps> Captain, I have to call you back. Manta rays. Incredible. Sorry for crying. 
crashing into you like that. I just... Ouch! Are you all right? No. I, I think I scratched my fin. Ow! Sorry about Muriel here. For a manta ray, she's not very good at leaping. For a manta ray, she's not very good at anything. Oh, ha, ha. Very funny. Don't mind them. They're just my remora fish. Most of us manta rays have them. They ride around with me everywhere. Oh! You better come with me, Muriel. I know just the person who can make your fin feel better. Please do make her better, Doctor. Muriel may be clumsy, but she is our friend. Don't worry, Muriel. Your fin just needs a little slime. Slime? What do you need slime for? Manta Ray's skin is protected by a layer of slime. Some of Muriel's got scratched off when she crashed into Dashi. There. Good as new. Thanks. Now, uh, got to go. I need to catch up with the other Manta Rays. They know the way. The way? The way to what? Every so often, we manta rays have a big feast in a special place. The secret manta ray feeding ground. I reckon nobody's ever photographed that before. How do we get there, Muriel? Um... <laughs> if you find out, be sure to tell Muriel. It's so secret, even she doesn't know where it is. Uh, I guess you could say I've never actually been there, myself, personally. <laughs> But I have to get there soon or I'll miss the big feast. In that case, we'd better help you find it. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help Muriel find the secret manta ray feeding ground. Muriel, do you have any idea where it may be? Well, there is an old manta ray rhyme about it. Uh, follow the giant swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring. Hmm? Hmm. Dashi, let's see the map. Ah, I don't see any rivers or swirling things on the map. Maybe we're looking at the wrong map. Let's check the storm tracker. There. That storm looks like a giant swirling thing. And we're going to follow it. Quasi, peso, dashi, into the guppe. We'd better hurry. The big feast doesn't last long. One swirling storm straight ahead. Oh, there it is! The swirling thing! Come along, everyone. Let's go! Whoa! 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 Muriel! <laughs> We've got to tour out somehow. Quasi, can you? I'm coming for you, Muriel! Wait, don't touch her. You'll scratch off her slime. You need to make your paws soft and slimy first. I slime gloves. You take one fin, I'll take the other. <laughs> I think we finally found something you're good at. Oh, is everyone okay? We're fine, Captain. But where are we? That storm pulled us pretty far out to sea. There's nothing around for miles. Oh, no. We're lost. <gasps> now we'll never find the secret feeding ground. Uh, Muriel, what's that you're eating? Oh, just some krill. It's what we mantas eat. There'll be tons of krill at the big feast. Something's pulling the krill away. It could be a clue. Everyone, follow those krill. We'll have to come back for the cup A later. Look! 
They're being sucked into that current. Of course. A current is like a river of fast-moving water in the ocean. Follow the great big swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring. This must be it. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Look, more krill. We must be getting close. Aye, we are getting close. To that giant breeze. Let the deep flippers. The current's too strong to swim out of. <laughs> We're going to crash. Two crashes in one day. That's a new record, Muriel. There's something on the other side. Everyone, sideways formation. Shiver me whiskers. A hidden lagoon. The reef makes a ring all around it. Follow the river to the secret ring. That means... This must be it! The secret manta ray feeding ground. But I don't see any manta rays. The big feast must be over. Or maybe it's just beginning. It's like a manta ray whirlpool. That's how we manta rays eat when we all get together. Now these are some good shots. Ugh. My camera! Yeah, it's going too fast. Here, hop on, chaps. Now let's get that camera. <laughs> Almost have it. Oh. Down there. It. Look out! Careful where you're going. Oh dear, leave it to Muriel. This is starting to get a little rough. We need to hurry. <gasps> Dashi, are you okay? I'm fine, but we have to help the others. What about your camera? I'll leave it. My friends come first. Uh, uh, <laughs> Now for Quasi and Peso. <laughs> Peso, Quasi, grab on. <laughs> grab on? Grab on to what? Ah! No! no Should have seen that coming. <laughs> now let's get out of here. The only way out is up. Muriel, we'll have to leap over the reef. Uh, I'm not very good at leaping. We'll help you. First, you've got to dive down to build up speed. Okay, here goes. Now, up to the surface, fast. <laughs> Muriel, what's the matter? I just thought we might like a picture or two. <laughs> oh, thanks. I've got an idea for a great one. Here we go. Done, Muriel. I guess I'm not so bad at leaping after all. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, chaps. Now that's a photo fit for the cover of National Geographic. <laughs> oh, thanks, Muriel. Did you get Muriel's good side? That's the side I am on. No, that's the side I am on. Monkey with a tool belt. Wazzy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. And got it. 